Hello there, everybody, and welcome to the game that likes to completely destroy laptop computers by overheating them, and also likes to take an eight-hour battery and turn it into about 20 minutes of fun before it craps out on you, and you gotta plug back in again. This is Universe Sandbox. All right, so what we're looking at right here, if you couldn't already tell, is obviously our solar system with the sun there in the center, not the Earth as we believed hundreds and hundreds of years ago. And this is a game that lets you do simulations. If you want to know what would happen to Earth, our cute little planet here, if it had 10 moons, if you want to know what would happen if the sun was twice the size that it is now, if you want to know what would happen if you brought Neptune in closer for orbit, if you want to know what would happen if you stuck a black hole in place of the Earth, Anything that you want to know, you can accomplish in this semi-realistic simulation game that allows you to toy with the universe, or as I like to call it, terrorize the universe, and specifically our solar system. Because for some reason, I always find a way to destroy pretty much everything that you see in this picture right now. Everything's going to be dead. Saturn is going to be dead. Jupiter is going to be dead. Uh, however you pronounce Ceres, Ceres, whatever, it's going to be dead. Mars is going to be dead. Earth is one of the first ones to go every time I run a simulation. We are so pathetic and so weak. We all know you try to act all big and bad Earth, but the truth is without the solar system being the way it is around you, you would be nothing. Okay, so we're just going to follow Earth around the sun for a second, and let me tell you what we're going to do in this simulation. If all evidence holds up to be true in the end, then there is a big old black hole, a supermassive black hole in the center of our galaxy that essentially holds our galaxy together and makes it what it is. This is known as Sagittarius A. Sagittarius A is ginormous. That's why they call it a supermassive black hole. And it is the reason why our solar system is what it is. It's potentially the reason why our galaxy is what it is. To travel to Sagittarius A would take generations. Would take just, I mean, an ungodly amount of time just to get there. And we're only now, with all the technology that we've been introducing into the scientific field, we're only now just starting to be able to even kind of take a picture of it that shows what it may or may not even look like. It is just so far away, yet its gravitational pull is enough to hold the sun in place where it is. And we actually, all of our planets orbit around our sun, which is why we're a solar system. But if Sagittarius A did not exist, our solar system might not exist. And in turn, our entire galaxy might not exist. So yay, bravo for Sagittarius A. But what if we brought Sagittarius A in a little bit closer to get a better view of it. What if, for example, the sun became Sagittarius A? Now you guys know as well as I do, even if you have very limited knowledge of the universe and how everything works, chances are really good that putting a black hole in the center of our solar system is going to completely destroy our solar system. However, I don't know that for sure, so let's find out. Let's find out what would happen if we took the sun here and we replaced it with Sagittarius A. So before I continue on to this, I'm going to pause really quick because I don't want to miss anything. And let's slow down our time to minutes per second and one minute. So every second that passes real time while you're watching this is going to be one minute in the game. All right, we are going to replace the sun with the black hole known as Sagittarius A. What's going to happen here? Nothing's going to happen at first, assuming that replacing the sun with Sagittarius A does not completely engulf our solar system immediately uh, because I have the game on pause. So again, we should be able to see everything that's going to happen in the universe when I do this. Or not in the universe, but in our own solar system. Boom! I know, guys, you're probably thinking, what? <laughs> you can't even see it. But look at this. If I place this black hole against the backdrop like that, now you can see it very clearly. But this black hole is gigantic. It warps everything, T space time, light, everything. So let me find a good backdrop so we can continue to see the black hole as everything starts to unfold in our universe, in our solar system. Let's see what happens here. Okay, time is down to one minute per second. Hopefully nothing disappears too fast. Guys, I'm going to zoom in on Sagittarius A right now because, again, I have a feeling Mercury is going to disappear almost immediately. Venus is probably going to get sucked in pretty quick. Here we go. All right. 
So remember, every second is a minute. Mercury shot right into the black hole and is already gone. And now you see Venus taking off towards the black hole. Oh man, poor Earth. Let's shoot in on the Earth. Earth is speeding up. And it's actually heating up the surface temperature from around 13.1 to 13.7 degrees Celsius to 15.7 degrees Celsius. It's getting hotter and hotter. Now if I can pause time again here real quick, as you can see Earth is approaching the critical point here where it's got to go into the black hole it's going bye bye and surface temperature is only raised 16 or to 16.5 degrees celsius still very much habitable you know maybe it would actually be habitable maybe it wouldn't be we don't really know that because this game can't go that far into calculations i need a supercomputer to figure that out but essentially what you're looking at here is that earth can actually watch itself and we can watch ourselves from earth getting pulled in to this giant black hole. Look at what we would be seeing, guys. Look what we'd be seeing from Earth. Where did the black hole go? Well, apparently it's right there and the game is incapable of zooming in that far. So I'm not even all the way up onto Earth. And you can see you can see all the rest of space around here. So some of us on you know one half of Earth are still just going to see stars. It's going to be dark. Well, it's going to be dark everywhere. But look at what those of us fortunate enough to be spinning in the direction of the black hole would be seeing. Nothingness as we approach the black hole. And there is a potential, because this has only been minutes in, guys. I mean, it's, it's, we're still on the same day that I put the black hole in the center of the universe. Earth, we could potentially be alive and slowly watching ourselves get sucked into a black hole and our skies get completely engulfed in black. Now that is just freaking cool. Look at that thing. That thing is monstrous. Earth is about to go bye-bye and Mars is about to go bye-bye. So let's hit play. And there we go. Never to be seen again. Okay, so... A lot of the things out here are a little farther away. It's going to take them longer. Well, you can see our solar system is getting torn apart right now. Almost everything is gone from the center. Look at Pluto out here. Pluto is like way out there just being like, I don't give a flying crap about what's going on right now. And Saturn is holding on for dear life. They're not even moving in towards the black hole yet. Neptune way out there. They're all... They're fine with everything that's going on right now. And there went Mars. So we're going to speed up time a little bit. There we go. Let's say somewhere around 10 minutes per second. Oh, there goes everything into the black hole really fast. Let's slow this back down just a tad. Everything is going into the black hole. And what do we have left? Of? Look at all these fragments left over. All these identified asteroids just disappearing. All the planets disappearing. You got Jupiter out here. Saturn. Pluto. Hold on a second. Jupiter's getting pulled in. Saturn's getting pulled in. Pluto still does not give a crap about what's going on around it. Pluto is still mad about us declassifying it as a planet and turning it into... Uh, some rock that's out there that nobody cares about anymore. Poor Pluto. Neptune is also trying to stay way out there. Uranus. Uranus is also just kind of hanging on. Here goes Jupiter towards the black hole. Let's see what happens here. Jupiter's coming in fast, too. And Jupiter's gone. You can still see all this space rock and all these identified asteroids just getting sucked into this black hole. Here comes Saturn. Let's see if Saturn can escape this. I'm really curious because, again, like I said, the farther out you go, you know, the more speed these planets are going to gain as they're coming in towards our black hole. So what I would really hope to see is some sort of a um, slingshot effect. Let's speed up time a little bit again because they're taking a little while to get here. They're, they're really far out. So here comes Saturn. Saturn's racing in. Saturn is moving really fast. And see, 
it's accelerating 27 28,000 30,000 kilometers per second it's just getting faster and faster and faster Saturn is about to get eaten by the black hole man you are a vicious black hole you are not letting anything escape you today this is ridiculous you know just notice we have a fragment up here so apparently something hit the black hole and exploded and I missed it maybe I'll have to play back some video and see if I can find it but uh, there's a fragment of something that uh, apparently went to the black hole shattered when it got close enough and you know from gravitational force and whatever and we got Pluto Uranus is coming in Neptune's coming in we don't have much left in our solar system I would really like to see one of these planets survive we got here here comes Uranus Uranus is gone Wow this black hole is hungry it is a beast hey oh that one almost escaped it went flying by the black hole and got sucked right back into it Wow Pluto is just really doesn't want to come in for this it wants nothing to do with it but it's going to Neptune don't want anything to do with this either here comes Pluto here comes Neptune what's gonna happen here Neptune oh Neptune escaped unless it gets pulled oh 1995 SN 55 has also escaped the black hole Pluto ah I guess we finally got the best of it still got some fragments sitting around out there and uh, let's check in on our buddy Neptune here real quick let's see if he's gonna end up getting sucked back into the black hole or not he is clearly headed away from the black hole at <laughs> 236 plus kilometers per second and I'm sure there yeah you can see the galaxy back here or the uh, whatever you want to call all this that's left uh, Neptune has escaped it and is just shooting off into space somewhere this beast of a black hole which happens to keep our galaxy intact and keep things alive created potentially created the habitable zone that we live in by dictating where things were going to be placed in space around it as peaceful and life creating as it has been it can turn around in a second and completely destroy everything so Sagittarius A wins solar system destroyed we're gonna move on to the next video we're gonna do something else in that one I don't really really know what yet we'll figure it out maybe we'll put some more earths in our solar system uh, maybe we'll surround earth with about 40 moons and see if any of them collapse into earth maybe we'll just take a moon and crash it into earth and see what happens and see if we would live through it anywhere on the planet which it's doubtful but it could happen uh, leave a comment down below and let me know what kind of what kind of simulation you'd like to see in the next one and I'll try to get it done for you